Hello everyone, this is Phantom Girl and welcome back to Life is Strange. Right now, if I remember correctly, we stole some files from David's garage. And now we're going back here to the dormitory, I think it's the boys one. And Chloe is with us. We're going to look some clues in Nathan's room, if I'm not mistaken. Or is it the girls one, because there was a totem in there. Hey Max! How are you doing? Oh, I'm hi, doing Mr. fine. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend Chloe. Yeah. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for the school. It's a long story. In actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? Yes, I'm it's fine. It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. So finally you understand. Don't hate me for what I said to the principal. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. Aww. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old <laughs> hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be Aww. seen. Yes, you will. <laughs> Hot for Chloe, attention. are you yes. falling for him? You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <laughs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I'm so ignoring you. Fine. <laughs> Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Can I sneak now inside Warren's cool. how, uh, not house room? That would be cool. Okay, Let's here we are. Let's see if I can are. find out where Nathan is. First, what's this? Principal Wells was so loaded the other night here. Wait, here? Wait, what? Wait, wasn't he in the girls' dormitory? But this is the boys' one, right? Wait, what? I'm so confused. <clears throat> You're in the same totem. What the heck is going on? Aren't this supposed to be the girls' one? Okay. I am so confused. So, the boys one is in the same place as the girls one? What? I only now realize that. Great. Okay, what kind of pictures do we have to take, by the way? Um, this one. Okay, rocks, scrolls, kind of food stuff. Can I talk to someone? Hi. Enjoy the big game, Zachary. I hope it's not the last. That's broke. Hey, there's the stones. Ooh. That's your drone. I don't think the Tobango will ever give up any secrets to us. Wish I could walk in, to, in there. Okay, where did these rocks come from? This is too Blair Witch for me. Oh, for a second thought, I wanted to uh, ask myself, why can't I take a picture of that? That uh, exactly looks like the picture for in the posterity. notebook. Nice. Okay, what do we miss? Squirrels. Hmm. The school should be here somewhere, right? That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. Oh, come on. Squirrels! Ooh, there's one. How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? <laughs> it's not nope. Like own all the original <laughs> Are you being sarcastic? <clears throat> Brooke doesn't look happy that I'm going ape with Warren. Sorry. Hey, Brooke. But how are you? Who's I'm That's here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? She doesn't look so mean. Well, 
Who's first? That's first. Right? <clears throat> okay, Nathan. I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Okay, Brooke. Um, but right now I'm trying to find Nathan. Warren's not good enough Wait, for you. Wait, is that lightning? Okay. In the background. I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. <clears throat> good luck getting that date, Max. Oh, come on. Don't be mean like that. I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Really? Aww. I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse don't be me. mean. My drone needs me. Good. Nathan is not around. Um, rewind. I go back to Chloe. Speak. Hey, Brooke. I'm here. Uh, what was it again? Wait, didn't they learn something? I need to find. Ask. Okay. Warren's. Whales. I, I can't get my limited brain around that eclipse and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. Uh. That makes sense. That makes sense. Two big brains are better than one. Or mine. We'd get the Nobel Prize if we could explain this phenomenon, but even Miss Grant has no clue. Okay, drone. I might... Miss Grant... Really? You are... <clears throat> well then. I guess that's it, right? Talk to you later, Max. Fine. Be like that. Okay, can I go here? Hmm. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. Oh man. Sad. Makes me mad. Climate change isn't real my ass. I think everything is changing here. As a scientist, I'm fascinated. As Michelle Grant. I'm That's cool to see that Samuel's not alone for once. Too. Look at the weather. Mrs. Grant looks interested in whatever Samuel's saying. We all need to look out for each other these days. <clears throat> okay, let's talk to him. How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. Um... Animals? I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. Poor birds and whales. Squirrels? Well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Yeah, it seems that they Me are too. okay. If something happened to them... Oh. Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Aww. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. Cool. Hey, little squirrel. Awesome. Oh, man, I wish I could pet a squirrel. Aww. Look at this. How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? Um, can I take a picture? Hello, game? Game? Um... What? Game? What the... Oh, I have to do more. Get that food in your belly. I got so nervous that I missed a photo or something. Samuel misses his squirrels. <clears throat> Come closer. Oh, there we go. Nice. <clears throat> Yay. We're doing okay with the photos. Woo. <laughs> Eat up. Food is the universal language. Sorry to bother you again, Samuel. There's no bother here, Max. I like speaking to this guy. Uh, animals. Let's. I definitely have. Uh, let's continue with the animals. Oh. 
Beach whales. How can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? <clears throat> My dad was a fisherman, and he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. Now they... they just cry. Whales are so beautiful. Uh... Eco-disaster. Do you think this is some kind of eco-disaster, or...? I think it's more than that. <clears throat> Somebody is causing all this to happen. Max, you think I think so that's you. you. You and Arcadia Bay are connected by time and time. Uh, uh, how so do you know that? Next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. What? Uh, you start to creep me out. How do you know about Ever so much? He, he talks like he knows that Max has powers and stuff like that. Damn. What do you think about all those dying birds? <clears throat> Samuel had to bury dozens near the Tabanga. Uh, Tabanga? Is that cool with the Tabanga? We'll find out if the souls of the bird move on. Not we can prove it. It's so ominous. Unless it's fate, then it doesn't matter. Okay, let's talk about Arcadia Bay. I still have a million questions about what's happening to Arcadia Bay. <clears throat> that must be why Miss Gant says you're one of her favorite students at Blackwell. Wait, what? Wait, I'm favorite student? What? Uh, Eclipse? Even though Miss Grant likes me, I have zero science skills to explain that eclipse. As I was just saying to her, that's because science has no explanation. No offense to Miss Grant here, but this is just the beginning. Huh. Beginning of what? Beginning of what? Oh, I, I don't believe anything ever ends. Especially time. Samuel is very That's interesting character. Something bigger is coming to Arcadia Bay. And, and Max, I don't like it at all. Me too. Damn, I, I love Samuel even more now. He's such a mysterious character and he's awesome. He talks like he knows everything. But, but, okay, um, Rachel? I keep thinking that Rachel Amber has a few answers. <clears throat> if we can find her. If Rachel wants to be found. Uh, where is she? That's the real secret. Where is she? If anybody knows, it will be you. My dreams tell me that. Um... Max, all I can tell you is to stay on your path and you'll find what you're looking for. Okay. Rachel Amber is waiting too. Okay, Vortex Club? I'd rather be in her class than the Vortex Club. Yes, you would. Rachel saw right through them. <clears throat> She's not the only one. Nobody should be trapped in the Vortex Club. Get out now, Max. While well, time is on your side. Then I'm happy that I messed up those inventation stuff. Uh, More questions than answers. Samuel is always here to talk. And I love to talk to you. You're my... Uh, I, like I said already, you're my favorite character. Okay, Kate. I actually just talked to Kate Marsh in the hospital. She's doing so much better. Because of you, Max. That was quite a rescue. Uh, Destiny? It could have gone either way. Samuel, do you think that we each have a destiny? Yes, I, I do, Max. In many different lifetimes. Man, I, I wish I could have Marsh someone in my life just like Samuel. So that's her destiny. He's such an awesome guy. Kate just needed some more. I love people who are mysterious like, like that. Max. I hope she finds them now. Okay, David. Do you ever talk with David Madsen? He talks to me. I listen. That's how David operates. He sees things, not people. But I, I think he sees you, Max. Why? Why do you say that? Because you both see with cameras. Huh. I think you have better vision than both of us. No, Max. I, I just look at everything <coughs> from a different angle. Okay, Nathan? Have you seen Nathan Prescott around? <clears throat> I try not to. Uh, you don't like Nathan? What do you know? 
No so, one likes Nathan. What do you know about Nathan? I know enough to not want to know anymore. Oh my gosh, my TV, well, what the okay. heck are you doing? Enough said. You know a lot of Blackwell secrets, so I, I thought you could help me. Uh, you hear Max. that very well, but I don't I'm because my stupid TV turned off. Not a psychic. I can only help by warning you to be careful. I'm sorry. I, I better get going now. Well, at least I can read what they said in my um the p uh, computer screen in the recording one program, but in my TV just blanked out. The screen was black. All we are is dust in the wind. What can I say about Samuel? That's cool to yeah, see that Samuel's okay. not alone. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. Oh, really? And I swear, it's not about that petition you didn't sign. I'm sorry about that, but I, that's my choice. Okay, uh, recent events? I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in Science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. Uh, beyond science? I think this is beyond science. Nothing is beyond science except for our lack of knowledge. Well, I guess we she's right. Why, but that doesn't change reality. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. Uh, prophecy? So, you don't think this could be some kind of prophecy or something? Max, you know how fascinated I am by Arcadia Bay legends. But I haven't found any apocalyptic signs yet. Unless you count those end of the world posters. Huh. Unless you know something I don't. Well, I actually do know. Ooh. Man, I want to ask both, actually. Time travel, Tobanga, time travel, okay. What about wormholes and chaos theory? They're like time travel stuff. The only wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground. And chaos theory is just that. But if this is about time travel, sign me up. Would you really change time? Not after reading that Bradbury story, A Sound of Thunder. I won't give it away, but it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. Time is butterflies. Like a we did so butterfly One at the beginning of the game. All can unravel. Okay, Kate. I don't think surveillance would have helped, Kate Marsh. Who needs surveillance when we have Maxine Caulfield? You did a wonderful thing, and now we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Uh. Blackwell needs help. Blackwell Academy needs the help. There's something terrible going on here. You see it, right? This week hasn't been Blackwell's finest hour. But me and some faculty members won't rest until all the students here feel safe, not bullied. It doesn't Kate look was like that. at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Yeah. Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. That's a good idea. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. Uh... Principal Wells? So, why doesn't Principal Wells stop the party? To be honest, he doesn't seem to care about what's going on here. Yeah, I see that. Raymond Wells has saved this school from financial disaster, and he cares more than you know. You're <clears> wise. <throat> But don't be so quick to judge everybody. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. Yeah, he cannot do I anything mean, because I love seeing you and family is just, and all my students at I don't your know. best here. But you're all too young to be ruling so everything. But you truly give me hope. Okay, Nathan. I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. I'm surprised, Max. I didn't think you and Nathan were exactly friends. We are not. But I'm trying. No way. No way. I just have to, uh, ask him a question. I saw him leaving campus looking angrier than usual. But to be honest, Max, Nathan hasn't been too well lately. You might know more about that than me. Too much. I can tell. You look like you have more than a question on your mind. 
Maybe asking Nathan isn't such a good idea right now. You hear me, Max? I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Did I talk everything about her? Let's talk again soon, Max. I think so. Yes. <laughs> What's this? Oh, great. Chloe stole money from the Handicap Access Fund. <sighs> We're going to hell. Stardew, delayed until 40 notice. What? Building permit. Arcadia Construction Accessibility Upgrade. Donator Supervisors. Parents of Blackwell Principal Ray Wills. What's this? Alisa, you play hard to get when you're already hard to to want. Um, that's still broken. That's what I get for helping Alyssa. <coughs> A broken window. Yeah, at least it's not your window. Hey, that's uh, Daniel, if I'm not mistaken. Poor Daniel. Looks like he needs a hug. Aww. Hey, Daniel. You look bummed out. Are you alright? Hola, Max. I just figured out that my photos basically suck. Aww. I'm a wannabe artist. I like your photos. Yeah, I love your drawings. You're not here to be a photographer. That's my gig. Look at that sketch you did of me. Incredible. And that's your art. Your gift. I do feel better now. You are good, Max. Thank you. Um, Kate? Have you talked to anybody about what happened with Kate? I don't talk to anyone, Max. But I did actually have a nice talk with Brooke. She couldn't stop talking about how brave you were on that roof. I don't think doing the right thing is brave, but I appreciate what she means. The most important thing is that Kate gets better and gets justice. I hear that, Max. She's the sweetest, most genuine person I've ever met. I don't mind getting picked on by Blackwell bro holes, but don't fuck with Kate. I like this revolutionary Daniel <laughs> DaCosta. Only if I can start the revolution from my sketchbook, Max. Oh, you look more, um, I don't know, happy now? End of the world party? Are you going to the end of the world party tonight? It will be if I go, man. People here push me into lockers, not dance floors. Well, I invite you to the party then. Go to the party. That's exactly why you should go to that party. We have to stand up to these Blackwell bullies for Kate. You won't be alone. Yeah, I'll be there too. Not with you to back me up, Max. Oh, damn it. I will go to the party like it is the end of the world. Yay. Okay, maybe I won't go, but... No, I won't do that, but I'll go. Yay! By the way, have you seen Nathan Prescott? You mean lately? Like, any time today? I saw Jefferson talking with Nathan a little while ago, but uh, I try to stay out of his way. I have enough assholes to deal with here. I understand. Let's talk later. Okay, Daniel? Bye, Daniel. What are you talking about, guys? It's been so long since I've seen you. Because you're way too cool Chloe fits in now. so easy with Justin. <laughs> Try going to I can tell that Justin is really into Chloe. So I hear. Any word at all on Rachel? Dude, I wish. I'm working on it. I miss her laugh. Then I fell off my board. <laughs> she was probably high. Yeah, she had the sick nugs. True that. Speak. Okay, I have to bounce. coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. Yeah. And now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. <laughs> now let's get into Blackwell Ninja Mode. Yay! Ninja Mode. It's so lame, they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Thank you. Now I just have Super to Chloe. find Nathan's room. Okay, time to snoop around in boys' dormitory. Okay. 
to vortex club sucks as love even kate super max in case you still need it nathan room number is 111 kate you're awesome thank you i love that you bring out the rebel in me you already are a rebel trust me oh listen please please be careful per promise of course i'll i'll keep you posted i know you will yay thanks kate oh, evan of course that's why no shits were given. Evan what did you rolls. want to say about later, Max? Oh boy, she wanted to say something about the message, right? And I skipped it. Fuck. Whoa. That's uh, cool music I hear. Who would steal cat pics? What? <laughs> cool. Maybe someone who loves cat cats. They have one more meeting left. Apparently, Logan missed this poster. Is it coming from here? Oh, why, hello, Trevor and Dana. Oh, I get it. Hmm. Are toilet paper wars mandatory in the dorms? Ooh, footprints. Every photographer what? should have one blurry Bigfoot shot. This is so weird. Whose footprints is that? Damn. Huh. Okay, next one is going to some kind of whale tail. Got no value. Those names are weird. Even after Kate, nobody here learned anything about bullying. Can I hazard? Whoa. <sighs> Jerks. At least nobody messed with the Kate portrait. Man. So this is... Even after Kate, nobody here learned anything about bullying. I wish I could erase that. Zack or Logan? Who knows? Bro's got a bro. Yeah, I wish I could erase that. Max, hurry up. Ugh, skunk weed and video games. I sense Hayden is near. This just makes me think of Kate. Warren. Poor Warren. This is the work of Nathan. Yeah. He's so lucky I'm a pacifist. Hmm. <laughs> Damn. Hello, there is Warren no unique Lou. pictures of reality, Stephanie. How can you and him make a good team? Oh, let's write something in here. <laughs> I can have a little fun with Warren for a change. I mean, he's the one who wants to go ape. And sometimes you have to take a chance and see what happens. What did you wrote? Are you made of a copper and tellurium because you're... What is it that? I hope Warren doesn't think that's too dorky. <laughs> I mean, not like he isn't. Aww. He'll laugh, right? Well, I don't know what you wrote, uh, that means, oh, but... Oh, you Bigfoots. Looks like one of the jocks did care about Kate. That's nice. There we go. This can only be Nathan's room. Enter! Of course it's locked. <clears throat> Max, don't why don't you lock your room? If you can, actually I don't know. You should have. Wow, he has a projector thingy? What? Now I need to find Nathan's phone. Or 
anything with clues. Max, I appreciate you standing up for David. I know Chloe didn't like that, but she needs to stand up and stop acting out so much. Expect that won't happen if you and her are getting mixed up in illegal crap like breaking into a black at night. I know what happened, so don't bother to defend or explain. I hope you would get her back on your right track, but it looks like she's getting stuck again. David wants to help, but sh she won't let him. You could be such a good influence on her, unless you both want to play bad. I'm sorry, Joyce, even I get into sh shenanigans, but I'm trying to be a good influence on Chloe. I know, Max, I forgot you're, you're still a teenage adult. Hmm. I really hope they were all consenting models. Well, he has um creepy kind of stuff in his room. I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. That is so Chloe. Hey asshole, we need to talk, or I'm going to tell you everybody what you did, and you're going to pay, motherfucker. Is it from the beginning of the game when they were in the bathroom? Oh my god. Chloe. What? <sighs> Chloe. Oh man, what did you get yourself into? Hurry up and find Nathan's room. You're already in Nathan's room. What are you talking about? Whale songs? Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. Oh, I do remember. She talked about that. That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. If only all your energy went into photography. Yeah, this is beautiful. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. Hmm. That's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. That monochrome camera is brand new and cost about six grand. Bastard. <clears throat> I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. I don't think this prescription has helped Nathan. Damn, with the sh champagne or whatever it's called in English. Alcohol, you can't mix that. Oh man. Wait, is that my picture? That dickhead stole one of my selfies. What? Why would he want my selfie? Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. This is so creepy and look how many stuff. These films all have a dark pattern. I can rewind if he shows up, but... I can't count on it. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... Huh. <clears throat> Let's see what Nathan hides in here. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. Hey gorgeous, let me know what you're wearing to the vortex this week, so I can wear something just as styling as and expensive. I'm psyched about going on, uh, going, and I'm picking up some serious party fla favors. I didn't tell my dad to keep the pigs away from Blackwell, so we can get wrecked with, uh, without hassle. If we were going to have an end of the world team, then let's do it. F fucking on point, right? Now I remember why I hate you, and why Kate will get justice. Oh boy. Oh man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome, and far away. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Wow. Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. Mm. I 
I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. Jesus guys, that was, suit looks ridiculous. And it looks like his father is an ass. Something on the floor, but before that, can we examine that? Yes, I would welcome to the boys' dorm. Come on, you skipped the line. Yes, I would be cool with having this high-tech projector. Okay, what's this? What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Something behind the sofa? Move. Let's find out what you're hiding. Wow. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Yay. Well, I think it's time to now get I out of here. Nathan's phone so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. We should fix the door though, somehow. Right? Still broken. It's still broken. There we go. Now it's fixed. Wait. Is this still here? Yep. Well, let's get out of here. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So, what did you find? A phone? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. Um, girls? What are you doing in my dorm? It's not your dorm. I can visit, you know. You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me ho. <clears throat> Max, I Warren. got this. Get the fuck out of my face. Whoa, great job. Uh, you are so fucking dead. Oh, no, you don't. Get off me, bro! Oh. oh, stay out of it. Stop Warren. Um, he deserved that. You did. De he deserved that. You like to hurt people, huh? Like Max? Like Kate? Like me? Huh? Feel this, motherfucker? Yeah. Well, he deserved that. You. Fucking using the gun on other students? Please! Please stop! He's down! Hey, come on! Stop! Sorry! Yes, we have to go! I wouldn't hurt him, but. Who's the bitch now? Chloe! But he. To, uh, show the gun to me. He could have shot me. Damn, Warren went full alpha on Nathan. And it was good. But scary. It's his fault. Shit, if, man. This really hurts. If, he, if you wouldn't uh, bring out the gun, I wouldn't hurt you. But you, you could have shot me, you asshole. Like you shot Chloe in the bathroom. So that's what you deserve. Someone has to put this asshole back to Max, this place. Hurry up and find Nathan's room. Maybe he will think twice now. Damn. That was intense. Before I do something. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For beating the shit out of Nathan Prescott? Dude, you rule. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I kind of went crazy there. He deserved that. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Yeah. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you That'll guys. That would be awesome. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. 
Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better, um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. Yeah, you are awesome. I'll call you later. You better. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yeah, yes. yes. You are. <laughs> He's an awesome guy. Woo! Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. <laughs> <I know. laughs> he really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. <clears throat> now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Well, Frank we have the money. Frank when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. Okay guys, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you everyone for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, if you like the video, and leave a comment below. And I will see you in the next episode when we see Frank. Final Girl is out, and thank you for watching. Bye!